all right guys this is bank nifty and daily chart as, as we discussed earlier that uh, bank nifty is still running in a range so here is the range and we are expecting that uh, price will hit this previous higher point so now i can see this is the previous higher point so let me draw exactly let me change the color yeah now you can see this is the uh, range or oh, you can say resistance line here upper and this is the supporting line and that is the actual uh, market range but uh, this support and uh, support and resistance line will draw by using standard deviation so let me show you this is the standard deviation so who people doesn't know about the standard deviation so you just uh, visit to my uh, youtube channel uh, this is called the pen gogoi and i already uh, explain how to uh, calculate uh, or how to uh, create this formula standard deviation you just type on like that uh, my name depen the w i p e n okay depen go goi g o g o i so i'm explaining how to uh, uh, make this formula all right so now you can see here according to the standard deviation uh, this is nifty let me write here bank nifty bank nifty you just enter here now you can see we have seen some level and this is uh, one standard uh, uh, deviation uh, that means this range so we are expecting that price will stay in between this range but uh, this is too far for intraday we are using uh, 0.5 standard deviation or 0.25 standard deviation or one standard deviation maximum all right uh, one standard deviation means there is uh, there are 68% uh, probability that price will stay in between this range this is the range and 34.15% probability that price will stay in between this range and 17% probability price will stay in between this range now let me draw by using first the lower side here you can see this is the lower side and uh, we have seen 21 583 21583 let me draw 21583 21,580 uh, almost uh, here I can see let me 580 almost here one standard uh, and uh, next that uh, 21,434 21,434 21 uh, 4 for somewhere here okay and 21.5 okay nice and the next uh, 21 1 3 uh, 22 1 1 3 6 2 1 1 3 6 2 1 1 2 1 1 3 6 somewhere here all right and the upper boundary we have seen uh, here you can see 21881 21881 21881 almost here already broke this level now it's targeting 22030 22030 Two two zero three zero somewhere here exactly now here you can see another two two three two seven two two three two seven two two three two seven almost here we have seen this is a next target and the third if you wanna see here maximum two two nine two three two two nine two three Two two nine two three somewhere here. So we have seen this is the range uh, market range. 
by using standard deviation now i can see this is a h4 chart means uh, next the resistance we have seen exactly near 200 moving average all right so we are expecting if price break this level so it will continue to this level all right now if you not see here in this area uh, this is uh, this area this is called uh, 0 0.25 0 0.25 uh, standard deviation and this area you can say 0 0.05 percent standard deviation and this is how one standard deviation this one called one standard deviation all right uh, one standard deviation means uh, here you can see uh, means this area okay this area uh, it is uh, there are, as i can say like uh, 68 percent this one uh, 68 point uh, three zero percent probability that price will stay in between this area according to the standard deviation means this area all right this area so we have to trade in between these range okay in between this range now see in a small time frame how it should look like that in h1 chart here you can see price just broke this 200 moving average and exactly right now price is near 200 sma so this dotted line is 200 sma so we are looking for buy not now after breaking this uh, level this level will uh, uh, be 22,000 uh, 3 4 I think uh, 3 4 somewhere here all right so if price break this level so we are expecting that price will hit another our target so why we are looking for this area now I can see previous market behavior price hit this level and reverse back so it is a probability to reverse back but uh, uh, we are not looking for short we are looking for buy because in a small time frame in a large time frame uh, they are uh, they are running in an uptrend that is where we are looking for buy now I can see in a small time frame like uh, 15 minute and uh, 5 minute uh, they are placing uh, uh, uptrend so in that case we are looking for buy we are not interested to take any sell uh, position all right so if uh, most of the people are not able to control their emotion they are en uh, entering in this area but we are applying here breakout trading strategy I think you people knows about this one breakout trading strategy so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching